Hello guys and welcome back to the video. As you can see, this is a BMW 6 Series 650i with N62 engine and beautiful V8 engine. And also at least with four reasons why not to buy it, why not to purchase this car or at least not this engine, N62 V8. And let me show you four reasons in one. So these are the venom solenoids and we have four of these approximately around $500 from dealership. And then that already makes car at $2,000 just in these four pieces. So that's a pretty good reason why not to buy this particular engine, V8 engine. But let me tell you what happened with my Venom solenoids and how I saved at least $1,500. So here am I driving down the road, beautiful beast, and the check engine light goes on. What a surprise for BMW, right? <laughs> Came back home, connected my Insta Plus, and what a surprise, passenger side, exhaust van solenoid giving me error me alerting check engine uh, by the way exhaust i believe it's upper one intake is lower one so i have a aftermarket van solenoid i replaced it with exhaust draw a car reset everything draw a car still having same issue exhaust giving me an error by the way <clears throat> this is the original bmw Venom solenoid that I had on intake and that was fine. So I had an error on exhaust, replaced it with aftermarket, still having an error on exhaust. Switched it with intake and this time original part is on exhaust and no error on that way, on that side. But intake is now having error because aftermarket par part is on intake. So I'm guessing my bad luck, aftermarket part is bad, purchase the second one <clears throat> for $100. Again, pull out the first aftermarket, put in second aftermarket. And I'm still getting error on aftermarket venom solenoid. Well, the only solution is to get another brand new BMW venom solenoid, original one. But that is $500 and I already put $200 in aftermarket parts, which didn't fix the issue. So my thinking is what else could go wrong? I'm just going to pull the original part and put two aftermarket venom solenoids on the passenger side and see what's going to happen. Did that, reset everything with this stuff. Went for a ride. No check engine light. Went for a longer drive, nothing. Went on a highway, speed up, slow down, every, all of that fun stuff, no check engine light. Till this day, I still have no check engine light. I have a original BMW, aftermark, uh, BMW Veno solenoid out, and I have two aftermarket Veno solenoids in and check engine light didn't show up. Now guys, if you ask me, I believe that there was something wrong to say with original BMW Venom solenoid in a way that input or output on this one, original one, was different than the one aftermarket I had. So having one original and one aftermarket probably messed up with inputs and outputs. What I did, put the two, two aftermarket ones and it's all good now. You can buy those from 70 to 100 bucks and you can get four, let's say for $400, instead of paying for one, $500. Hopefully I help someone with this. If you have same issue, try this as I tried and it worked out. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one.